As we await possible federal charges against former President Trump involving January 6th, the special counsel's office made a surprise move yesterday regarding the Mar-a-Lago classified documents case. They issued a 60-page superseding indictment, which brought additional charges against the former president and his aide, Walt Nada, and a second Trump employee, Carlos de Oliveira, was also charged. Now, Trump and Nada pleaded not guilty to the previous charges. Joining us now is ABC uh, Chief Justice Correspondent Pierre Thomas and ABC Executive Editorial Producer John Santucci. Welcome to Good both to of you. Good to see you guys. with you. So many people talking about this. Pierre, let me start with you. So three additional charges in the documents case. Help break that down. How is that different and what is significant about it? Well, first, the, he's charged with retaining yet another classified document. And it's the one that we've heard so much about. This waving around of the document at Bettmister Club in which he He's talking to two men uh, doing uh, research for a Mark Meadows books. And he's talking about this is classified. And he initially went out and said, oh, there was no classified document. Well, ding, 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 yesterday, the special counsel is saying, we believe we have located this document. The document deals with Iran in terms of a potential plan to attack Iran. So that was another added charge. The two charges that are getting a lot of attention in addition are charges that relate to obstruction of justice. And basically what the special counsel is alleging is that Donald Trump is at the center of a cover-up. That he was very concerned, the allegation is, he was very concerned about the subpoena asking for surveillance footage to try to figure out what was happening to those documents being stored in a storage closet. Well now the special counsel is alleging that Donald Trump and these two other uh, employees basically went there to try to get the surveillance coverage deleted, actually deleted. With intent. With intent. And John, a second Trump employee has been charged. How significant is this? Oh, it's huge because here's the reality. We thought we were done with the documents case. This is clearly a sign that they are still investigating. They're still bringing more people in. They're still talking to witnesses. And look, think of it almost sort of like you're sitting down for dinner, right? You get your meal, you're done. The kitchen ain't closed. They're still cooking. They're still bringing people in. They're still probing this. And I think what's fascinating, talking to Team Trump, as they read the indictment along with all of us in real time, it sounds like more people are cooperating, more witnesses. They don't know who they are. Read that document. Employee one, two, three, four, five. That is a hunt right now for Team Trump. Who is talking? Who is cooperating with the special counsel? And that's the big question. So a lot of people have been sort of waiting, assuming that there's going to be an indictment related to January 6th. How does this case now affect that, and does it add to the fuel for that? Well, one of the things I found that was fascinating about yesterday, uh, the special counsel's team, and Jack Smith was in this meeting, mm -hmm. also met with members of Donald Trump's legal team. That meeting's taken place yesterday, early in the day. Jack Smith's sitting in that meeting, knowing that he's going to indict Trump yet again, mm. and never shows his hand whatsoever, which is fascinating. But I think in terms of timing, we're all waiting to see if there will be additional charges in connection to January 6th. Here's the thing. We know last time, after the same kind of meeting, Trump was indicted within four days, so we could be right on the cusp of additional charges. Your and John, uh, Can I just ask your yeah. guest today? A couple oh, days? I think... I never predict indictments, <laughs> <laughs> but I, w I will say this. I think that final decisions about that will be made in the coming days, not weeks. Yeah. All right, and John, uh, the Trump campaign released a statement attacking both the special counsel and President Biden, saying yeah. that the charges aimed to harass, rather, uh, Trump and his allies. Yeah. Uh, what are you hearing about how the president is feeling about this growing list of charges? Uh, well, livid was the word that we were all hearing. I mean, we were talking, Pierre and I were talking in real time. They were prepared for January 6th. This was a curveball that smacked them at the golf course yesterday because they were armed and ready, thinking this was the case. But then to hear superseding more charges, wait, there's another employee now getting getting charged, they were all caught off guard. And my understanding is that in Bedminster at the President's Club yesterday, huddled, trying to calm him down, trying to walk him through this. Because as Donald Trump has said, what is happening here? I think the pressure that is mounting on him, his family, his friends, right, another employee now too, it is just driving the President absolutely mad. So the timeline, as you said, probably days and not weeks, it's anybody's guess mm -hmm. when exactly. this could actually come exactly. down. Exactly. But one thing is clear. This is probably the most aggressive prosecutor I've seen in more than two decades of covering the Justice Department. Mm. He all is right. really all over yeah, this case. Most yeah. certainly, Pierre and John. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. Thank you. 
Hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.